you doing today? Like I said, I promised I'd do one of two. And, uh... You guys picked Wild Arms. Actually, what you guys may not be aware is, I got somewhere around 20 different people voting for this. It was uh, interesting. Uh, a lot of people sent me uh, messages on YouTube. Uh, actually, to the point where it was uh, a tie. When uh, my deadline rolled around. So, that surprised me. Uh, I uh, asked a friend of mine who knows nothing about either one of the games. He's not an RPG player at all. And uh, he said, okay, let me see the intros to both games and I'll pick one. And uh, being a big Western fan, he chose Wild Arms. So, we're just going to roll right into it with uh, a wandering youth. And I hit the wrong button. It is, it is uh, very, very evident in the later games. By the third game, there's like not nothing green at all. The world's pretty barren in the second game too, but there are a few scattered uh, places that are green. And this one is not really evident until you uh, go to, uh, well, it's, it's a little more evident later in the game. Right now, not so much. Just kind of got to take their word for it that the world's dying. Well, my name is Rudy. Oh, no, not Rud. I keep hitting O. I'm, I've been playing Saga Frontier too long. Not to mention, uh, Breath of Fire. Healberry. Yes, I do. When you get back, where are you going? Sure. Really? Chicken! Come here. Chicken. 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 In the well. Darn. Can't go in the well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think Wild Arms, despite the fact that it is an entirely 2D RPG. I think this is probably the 2D RPG. Ooh, Power Apple. Yes. It's, uh, this game probably polished the 2D RPG to its finest. I don't, I can't think of any top-down 2D RPG that is better than this right off the top of my head. Unfortunately, this awesome game was, uh, sadly, sadly, overshadowed because it had the very very unlucky or stupid they honestly the, the Sony probably knew better I mean hell they uh, they own the PlayStation they knew when Final Fantasy 7 was coming out no I think it's quite quaint but uh, I mean, there was really no excuse to, uh, honest... Whoa, what the hell? 
Did you see that? The chicken. It. Let's try that again. I don't know what the hell just happened. I need a box. Damn it! Can't take the chickens in here. Ha! Chicken. But, uh, yeah. Why they released this game a week after, it was either a week before or a week after Final Fantasy VII. But honestly, the whole thing was a disaster, probably. I, I do remember that this game was incredibly overshadowed by Final Fantasy VII. Ironically, as great games as the Final Fantasies are, uh, everything wrong with RPGs today can probably be traced back to them. Why, sure. Oh, well, I didn't really... Cool. Ooh, bombs. Never run out and they don't hurt you. play a major impact well a major part into the game uh, they're used to solve puzzles uh, lots of puzzles there are a lot of puzzles in this game we're talking some real brain busters well I guess we better save the little boy I just want to save. That save is from uh, the footage I did for uh, the video. I've already busted all those boxes. What do you do? You sell items. Okay, what do you got to sell? Nothing new. Okay. Yes, you can run. But you kind of run like you do in The Legend of Zelda when you're using the Pegasus boots. You dash forward and you have to let go of the run button to kind of slide. Oh, snap. Snap, you can get stuff in the... I didn't know that was there. Check. Nothing? No? No? Lots of hidden stuff in this game. 